Greetings to everyone who is listening and watching me right about now. Brothers and sisters, I'm here to present to you a powerful and amazing word just for you. Brothers and sisters, God speaks. God wants you to understand the things he has been saying to you. God wants you to listen to his voice. The Bible says that my sheep hear my voice and they know. So if you are God's sheep, if you belong to him, you must have the ability to hear his voice and know that he has spoken. There are many ways that God speaks to us. Some of the ways God speaks to us and we do not understand them. We think that it is just a dream. You see, God can speak to you through a dream. God can speak to you through friends. God can speak to you through your pastor, through a preacher. And God can speak to you through the word of God. There are so many ways God can even use a donkey to speak to you. He can use an animal or a pet to speak to you. Brothers and sisters, position yourself so that you can hear the voice of God. Because some of the voices that have been speaking to you have not been from God. Some of you are accustomed to listening to the voices of people, to listening to the voices of the media. It is time to shut the voices of the media and other people that have been speaking to you. Because that is a hindrance. Some of you, music has been a hindrance. The wrong music, even books, poetry. Some of you, it is what others have been saying about you. That has magnified itself that you cannot hear the voice of God. And yet God has been speaking to you. It is important. Because some of uh, the things that God sends to you are warnings about what your enemy is about to do. Sometimes it is instruction. God is instructing you, do this, don't do this. Go this way, don't go this way. Re speak in this manner. Brothers and sisters, it is always important to obey the voice of God. Obedience is better than sacrifice. I want to read to you a very powerful word from the book of Numbers, chapter 22, verse 22 to around 29. Numbers, chapter 22, verse 22 to around 29. It reads, Then God's anger was aroused because he went. And the angel of the Lord took his stand in the way as an adversary against him. And he was riding on his donkey, and his two servants were with him. Now the donkey saw the angel of the Lord standing in the way with his drawn sword in his hand. And the donkey turned aside out of the way and went into the field. So Balaam struck the donkey to turn her back onto the road. Then the angel of the Lord stood in a narrow path between the vineyards with a wall on his side and a wall on that side. And when the donkey saw that the angel of the Lord, she pushed him herself against the wall and crushed Balaam's foot against the wall. So he struck her again. Then the angel of the Lord went further and stood in a narrow place where there was no way to turn either to the right hand or to the left. And when the donkey saw the angel of the Lord, she lay down under Balaam. So Balaam's anger was aroused and struck the donkey with his staff. 28. Then the Lord opened the mouth of the donkey and she said to Balaam, What have I done to you that you have struck me these three times? And Balaam said to the donkey, Because you have abused me, I wish there was a sword in my hand, for now I would kill you. So the donkey said to Balaam, Am I not your donkey on which you have ridden ever since I became yours to this day? Was I ever disposed to do this to you? And he said, No. 
Then the Lord opened Balaam's eyes, and he saw an angel of the Lord standing in the way with his drawn sword in his hand, and he bowed his head and fell flat on his face. What a very powerful word. You see, Balaam was told never to go. For those that are finding very hard to understand this story, this is a story where Balak hired Balaam to go and curse Israel. And Balaam was told by God not to go. Because you see, he who God has blessed, no one can curse. Because Balaam loved money, he went on a journey to go and curse Israel. And remember, Balaam had a record that whoever Balaam cast would be cast. But when he reached to Israel, it was impossible. So Balaam decided to saddle his donkey. He went on a journey to disobey the voice of God. Now the donkey sees an angel of the Lord standing in the way with a drawn sword. Ready to strike Balaam, the drunk donkey refuses to go. Balaam beats up the donkey. He's so stubborn to the extent he strikes the donkey. And the donkey begins to speak. Now when Balaam's eyes were opened up, he begins to see the angel of the Lord. It is the donkey that saved him from being struck down. The donkey was able to speak. This is why I'm telling you it is important to pay attention to your surroundings and to the voice of God. Most, most especially because God can use anything to speak to you. If God can use a donkey in this case to save the life of Balaam, God can use anything to speak to you. Brothers and sisters, God does speak. Some of you in your dreams, God is speaking to you. God has been warning you. No wonder some of you have been having what you call deja vus. You think it is just something out of the blue. You think it's just something that is just normal. And yet God has been speaking to you and yet you have been forgetting. It is now time to write the vision down. Read the book of Habakkuk, which says write the vision down. Put it plain on tablets because that vision will come to pass. That dream will come to pass. It will not tally. It will not delay. Brothers and sisters, this is the word I have for you. I hope this word has blessed you. I hope this word has encouraged you. Keep on sharing this word. Keep on letting people about the good news. This is the good news of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, that he loves you so much and he wants you to know what the enemy is preparing. He wants you to avoid the traps of the enemy and he wants you to be obedient to his voice. Until next time, shalom.